you up here, the most electrifying man on YouTube Entertainment, hanging out today with Capital D O Double Dog. Hey, Pat, what's going on, Dog? That's right. We're hanging out today, just me and Dog. That's all. He's a good dog. He's trying to get my big bag of M and M's. Either way, guys, this is the deal. This is what's going on. So, as you know, um, about a week ago or so, I had the whole house redone and had to empty the attic. Now, frankly, putting stuff back in the attic, I'm kind of like, does it need to go back in the attic? Like, you know, I'm thinning the herd. If I could throw it away, I will. So I came across, I took it down, I just didn't look in it. And when I was putting it back up, I looked in it, and I, I peeked. Because I was like, <gasps> and then I closed it real quick. So I did get a glimpse of some of the things that are in there. But guys, this is like a time capsule. I packed away this big box right here quite some time ago. There are things in there that I totally forgot that I had. And I thought it was super cool that I wanted to share with you guys. Stuff from when I was uh, you know, a lot younger than I am now. So, with that being said, if you guys want to jump inside Two Hops Time Capsule, let me show you how big this box is right here. Hold on, here we go. Oh, Lord Almighty, look at it. Check it out, Doug. We got it's a big time capsule box. I told you, it's huge. So if you guys want to stick around, Two Hops gonna pop the top here, and we're gonna find out what's in Two Hops Time Capsule. I, this is so cool, man. I saw two items, and I was like, oh, let's go, get out of my goddamn M&Ms, Doug. Chocolate ain't no good for you. Jesus Louie. All right, hold on. I'm getting it open. Oh, there we go. Oh. All right, so right on top. This is super cool, guys. I can't even believe I still own these. And, well, frankly, I have all five and more. So what I'm talking about, check it out. They're still in the little crate. I got all the Matchbox cars of sorts. From the Days of Thunder movie. You guys remember Days of Thunder with Tom Cruise and, and uh, all those other guys? I don't remember who else is it. But the Super Flow of the City, Hardee's, Mellow, Yellow, Exxon. See them all right there? Those are all the original five cars from the movie. There's extras in there. Like, I made that one. There's a, uh, you know, Richard Petty in there. I don't know idea what that is. Either way, I'm excited about the Days of Thunder. I'm more excited because there's duplicates. I can give some to Enzo and not give a crap because I got other ones that he won't ruin. Like, we got two super, we got three super flows. So he can have that one. Look at Doug. Toys for the coolest dude in diapers. He can have that one. And we'll give him that one. And then these other ones that I made, you guys know he loves Hot Wheels. See, I made that. I colored it myself and everything. They used to sell those things. And Toys R Us. She's Louise. So I made that one too. So, well, careful pup. I don't know what this thing is, but that's pretty rad. He can play with that. And of course, the Richard Petty, he can have that. The other ones I think I'll keep for Dew Hop. But now we got the toys for the coolest dude in diapers. Moving on, guys. Look at this. Now, this dates back to high school. All right, you know what? Let me start with these. Freshman year of high school in the marching band. Boom, boom, boom. I was the bass drummer. But he didn't have the biggest bass drum. No, I was the third one. So you got the tiny one. Dee, doo, doo, doo. I was doom right there. Yeah, dee, dee. That was me. Boom. Not the biggest one, but that one. And these were my mallets that I used to play bass drum. Now, funny thing about these guys. Ready? Listen. You hear that? You would think that that might be soft. It is not. Funny story. Now... To preface that, to preface that, <clears throat> guys, forgive me, my voice is still fucked. When I was a freshman in high school, Grimm was a senior, okay? So here I am going into freshman year. That summer before freshman year of high school started, I started the summer band program. Of course, that's when you do the summer band camp and all those other bullshit. Either way, so right before school actually started, they started with the band and I was assigned a bass drum. They're like, yeah, you can play bass drum. I said, all right, cool. So I brought these home and I set them on my dresser. And I'll never forget watching Grim pick one up and he looks at it and he goes, bam! And he straight almost knocked himself out. I looked at him like, what are you doing? 
I don't even think he responded. I'm almost sure he gave himself a, a concussion. They're not soft. All right, so sophomore and junior year of high school, I played the, the, the Tom, where the, well, we called them the Quints because there were five of them, but they were the tenors. So those were my sticks for that. Guys, I haven't seen, and then senior year, I played snare drum. Pop, 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 pop. Ooh, geez, the wiggies. Either way, I don't think I still have it to play. No, probably not. You like that, pup? Huh? Either way, I'm, I don't know. I'm looking through stuff, guys. This is pretty fun. Oh, my God. Some of you might remember to know who this is. Some of you probably don't, but this is... I don't even know why I have this. It's Silent Bob! Where's Jay? Jay and Silent Bob were like a, a team, you know, from like clerks and mall rats. Most of you guys probably don't know that. Some of you do. I got a Silent Bob. Maybe we'll find Jay in here somewhere. Ooh, we got a Barbie doll. We got a Barbie doll, Jimmy Johnson. I should take that out of there and let Enzo play with it. We'll throw it around and beat it up. Oh, Scooby-Doo. Look at Scooby-Doo. Oh, even better. Look inside, Scooby-Doo. All right, ready, guys? Here's Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Dooby-Doo. Don't they start to? They never throw up a horror. Scooby-Dooby-Doo. Don't they start you? All right, so that was Scooby-Doo in Spanish. Either way, look at the picture in Scooby. Are you ready? Oh, oh, look at that. <laughs> Cactus Jack and uh, Triple H. And obviously, I'm st that's me all super fat. Can you see me? Is that, is that good? Can you guys see me? That's me all super fat with the bald head. And right next to me is my old buddy from high school and such, James. Unfortunately, James came upon hard times. Right now, he's in prison. That's not a joke. God bless him. Either way, that's do hop by the Cactus Jack. That's my buddy James by Triple H. That was taken uh, near Madison Square Garden leading up to one of the events. I remember going, and we had a lot of fun doing it. But look at that, man. I think we're going to take that picture out of there because fuck you, Scooby-Doo. Look at Roscoe Dog. He's, oh, my God. This is my childhood Care Bear. Legitimate my childhood Care Bear. Oh, my God. I have no idea where I got this Care Bear. But this Care Bear is mine from when I was a kid. This thing is legit 1983. Hold on. Wait, maybe there's a date on it. Patent pending. Patent pending. Kenner. 1983, son of a bitch! I hit it on the head, I was two years old. <laughs> hey, uh oh, it's a Care Bear attack. Do you guys want me to keep digging? All right, here we go. Here we go, let's keep, oh look! I found Jay! Jay and Silent Bob, there they are. I don't know what happened to the card on Jay, but I found Jay, so we'll keep moving on. Oh! Worst episode ever! I swear to God, I don't remember any of this shit! That is pretty cool. We're digging deep. Well, we got another Simpsons. We've got uh, all the Bymon Sci Fi Con! I suppose Comic Book Guy is my favorite Simpson. I mean, who hates Comic Book Guy? Guys, this is really bringing me back, man. I'm glad you took this journey with your old pal Do Up down memory lane. Uh, what else do we got here? We, oh. we got x-rays or something. Why do I have x-rays? All right, all right, guys, I mean, that might be the last of the interesting stuff. I got a, a shitload, oh. Okay. Do up. Pop the brakes, woo, woo, woo. This is legitimately the same exact car, the same exact color that I drove when I turned seven, or in what year? I, I turned 17. It was 1980, 1998. And this is the exact car, exact color that I drove. A 1973 Dodge Charger. That was my car, except mine was cooler because it was jacked up in the back with big tires. This is more of the original sedan version. But that was the car I drove, so I got that. But other than that, there's a whole bunch of these Jimmy Johnson guys. I mean, see? Jeff Gordon. I got a lot of that crap in here. And, 
Oh, look at that, it's Bubba Lloyd. Leave it in the comments. If you son of a bitch is as old as me, remember Bubba Lloyd. God, that was mine again from like 1984. Hold on, this, oh, it's a Wuzzle. That was the name of the show, The Wuzzles. And he was a combination between a bumblebee and a lion. He was Bumble Lion. Oh my God, man. What, what, I'm trying to look for a year. 1984, fuck, that's two for two. I am awesome, amazing. Guys, this little trip down memory lane meant a lot for me. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with Drew Up, going down, taking a look. Like I said, some of this stuff dates high school. Some of this stuff dates me at two fucking years old. And well, I gotta be honest, I couldn't be happier about it. That is super sweet. Oh man. All right, guys, that's about all the time I got for today. You wanna know why? Because my watch says it, and it's right there. So leave some comments, man. Do you got an awesome time warp at your house? Do you got a time capsule of a box of shit that you're saving to look through 10, 12 years after you packed it? Let me know. You gotta, you gotta do it. You gotta leave it down in the comments. Other than that, I'm out of here, guys. Like the video. Let me know what you thought of Do Up Time Capsule. And if you haven't done it already, subscribe for some more Do Up. Eat it, yeah. Inferno and Ratchet. We're gonna have to real quick. We're gonna have to find out what Inferno and Ratchet is, because that sounds like it's Transformer related. Oh wait, if I can get the tape off. Oh, there it is. Inferno and Ratchet, badass.